your God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. What if you did pick door number three, even though it wasn't the best choice for go left or going right, would it turn out badly? If you chose opportunity door number three anyway, and you decided for whatever reason that it was the one that you wanted and the best choice of the bunch for you, then it would become the best choice. It is just that simple. That is the power of decision coupled with alignment. Okay, let's look at this illustration. You decided door number three. So you got door number three meaning resonating and best opportunity standing out from the rest. Now, if you notice, that door didn't light up for the go left. It didn't light up for the go right. In fact, it never lit up about anything. In fact, before, it potentially didn't go anywhere. If you'd have opened that door, you wouldn't have found anything. If you'd have gone ahead and walked off and checked out that opportunity, there'd have been nothing there because you hadn't decided. But the moment you decided, and remember, it didn't matter whether you picked one, two, three, four, five. It didn't matter which door you picked. As long as you pick one. As long as you make a decision and go in some direction. So once you've decided that you're going to do number three, which is different from left and different from right and different from straight ahead. In fact, it may be a different option that nobody else has even thought of. Maybe everybody else is suggesting all kinds of other ways. But if you've decided number three, number three will become the best opportunity for you. It will become, it will turn into the best way to go. It will morph into the perfect opportunity because by choosing it and deciding on it, you align with it. And when you do that, you elicit it. You, remember, every situation has unlimited potential outcomes. And the number three situation out of the unlimited outcomes, there was one outcome out of all the trillions and trillions of trillions and unlimited, infinite number of possible outcomes from number three. There's one that's an outcome for you that is magnificent. It works out in every kind of way. It was the best thing you could have ever done. That is the outcome you will elicit from option number three, from opportunity number three, from situation number three. That is the outcome you will get by deciding that it's the one. Resonance will elicit that outcome for you. Here it says, you decided on door number three, Tan. It now becomes the door of opportunity for you. It not only stands out and catches your attention, but you are also eliciting the best responses from this opportunity by resonance. Every situation has one of its infinite outcomes that's perfect for you. So because of that, it makes no difference what situation you pick, what decision you go with, which way you decide to go makes no difference whatsoever. The only thing that matters is that you do decide because resonance cannot elicit, it cannot create, it cannot perform for you unless it's got something to perform with. And when you decide on a direction, and you say, this is the way I want to go. I believe in it. This is what I want. Then resonance will morph that particular situation into the right way for you. It would be kind of like a, a magic scene in a movie where the woods are all dark. And all these dark paths kind of go off in all directions. And you say, wow, I don't know which way to go. 
and you start down one path and it still stays dark and it's and you think maybe I should have gone the other way and you kind of start down another path and it's still dark and, and you think maybe I should have gone another way because you see even though you started down those paths you didn't decide on them you didn't align with them finally you come back and you say you know what I'm going down this path right here and I don't care what's going on with the rest of them this is the one I'm going on and I'm this is this is the one I believe in and this is the one I'm taking all of a sudden since you decided on that path to the exclusion of all the others all of a sudden the path brightens up it lightens up you look up and there's blue sky up ahead and there's flowers all along the path because until you had decided on it you're not eliciting anything from it but the moment you decided on it it now morphs into the best path it turns out to be the path that you should have taken but the thing about it is is every other path could have turned out to be the path that you should have taken had you decided it so you've got to decide on one of them and let it become the path that you should have taken perfect okay it is never what you decide it is never what you decide as long as you are happy with the decision that you have made and you feel good about it. You will make every single decision the best one for you when you feel that it was the best one for you. Video example, Anthony Robbins, Decide. What is this video about? In this video example, Anthony Robbins goes into great detail as to exactly why it is so important to make a decision. In fact, one of his famous quotes is, quote, It is in your moments of decision that your destiny is shaped. Unquote. Anthony Robbins. He says that the most important thing to do if you want to change your life is to take action and that you can't take any actions until you have made a decision. How could you embark on a course of action if you have not decided on that course. He says that if you do the same things today that you did yesterday, you will get the same results as before. That if you really want change, you must decide to do things differently than before. This is a good video to watch as it is inspiring just to hear him speak. He has a way of making things seem so simple and that it all makes perfect sense. What does this example show and what does it mean? I agree with Anthony on this point. Decision is the basis of anything. In our case, if you have no decision, you have no meaning. If you have no meaning, you have no vibrational frequency. If you have no frequency, resonance has no work to do. Resonance cannot go forth into the universe bringing you everything that you want if it has no idea what you want and what course you're going to take. But deciding is only the first step and has no power without the next step, aligning. Many a decision has been made half-heartedly, without conviction, and has been rendered useless. In order for your decisions to carry any weight, you have to believe in them and agree with them yourself. That means no reservations. This can be called tuning your frequency to match your decision. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 7, Segment Number 4. Let your quest for knowing continue.